going on guys welcome back to the channel we've been talking about a lot of advanced 3d stuff on the channel lately so i want to slow it down a bit mix it up and give you guys a wide range of different content so today we're going to be creating some pretty cool looks so i stumbled across this smoke perp vibes in the spot music video and i thought they had some very interesting rgb invert effects going on here so i'll just kind of play through briefly so you guys can get a good idea of what we are going to be creating and i'm not going to show you how to just make one thing i want to show how you can create a wide range of different looks so this is the main performance scene that we're talking about and if you just break this down you can see this rgb separation on our subject here as well as you can see the inverts affecting a lot of the colors and the lighting in the background this is going to look different for every single scene because every frame is different depending on what you're editing and working with yourself um, so let's just show you how you can create some advanced, unique RGB invert effects. So hopping right into Adobe Premiere. Now the first thing I recommend you do is let's create that RGB split. So if you hold down Alt on your keyboard, you guys can click while holding down Alt, click and drag up on any clip that you have. You can do that twice so that you have two duplications in a video layer above your original footage. Make sure that they're all lined up properly. Now, one thing that's gonna save you a ton of time, if you guys would like, of course, this was 100% optional. I figured I just plug it in here because it does help. If you have my Color King pack from my website, which is $10, you guys can use these little presets and just drop each of these bottom, you see bottom preset, middle, top, and then you're basically, and then you're basically done with your RGB split. All you have to do is just move this a tiny bit and then there you go, you have it. Now, if you want to do this from scratch, I'm going to show you right here very quickly. So to do it from scratch, once you have your duplications, you want to search for the arithmetic effect. It's under channel. Go ahead and place that on each of your duplications like this. Now, starting from your bottom duplication here, we're going to go into our effect controls in the top left, find where it says arithmetic and just open that up. And you're going to see where it says operator. Change that from Zor to max. And we're going to make the blue value of this bottom clip all the way up so make it 255 and let's repeat those steps so for our middle clip here select it change the operator to max now for our middle we make our green value 255 and if you want to remember the order blue green red so it's there right there so the order of the stacking is there for you so do the same to the top we're going to select the top change it from zor to max and make the red 100 now it should turn red to get it back to normal color select the top layer where it says opacity just change your blending mode to linear dodge add and do that to the bottom do that to the middle part of the sandwich as well so select it opacity linear dodge add now it should go completely back to normal and all you have to do here is select whatever rgb split you want so select the red layer which is my top and i'm just going to go to my motion here and i'm just going to offset this a tiny bit so you'll see this is the red layer and if you offset that a tiny bit you'll get that RGB displacement that we're after and of course if you guys want to experiment with that you can try uh, Moving the green a bit if you want to have like a more of a colorful split So it's really up to you and um, again leave the bottom footage Don't change that on linear dodge add keep that on normal. So once you have your RGB split I'm gonna select all of these I'm gonna right click and I'm going to nest them. So we're pre-composing them into one sub clip so instead of having three, we have that all in one. All right, so now let's start exploring the invert color looks that we can add onto this. So I've touched on this a few times throughout the channel, but I've never fully talked about all the things you can do is I'm gonna hold down Alt and click and drag that clip up again. So we have a duplication in a video layer above of our original clip. And on this duplicated layer, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just search for the normal invert effect in my effects and presets. So under channel, here it is, invert, drop that on here. If you guys have any presets from my website, you guys can mix and match any of those as well to experiment. But once you selected that, go back up to the top left in your effect controls, you're gonna see the invert here. Now this is where you guys can really experiment with what you wanna do here. So if you're trying to go for something similar to this music video here, and um, to give you a better look, so you'll see a little bit later throughout this music video, they have a scene where they show a lot of the different inverts that they are using. You'll see where they change this brown to bluish, you have a more orange. To get it similar to the music video, I think that they use this YIQ function the most. It's completely yellow here. So to, to mix and match a lot of these different looks, you're gonna wanna experiment with the blending mode and under your opacity. So you change your channel, you change your blending mode, and of course it's gonna be different depending on everything, but I would just cycle through here until you find something that you ultimately like. I'm gonna go ahead and try and do this on this clip here because in this clip, it gives you a little bit more different a range of colors and the colors are changing throughout. So I think you'll get a better idea of what you can create. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing from before. I'm gonna hold down Alt, 
click and drag up twice. Now I'm going to save some time here. I'm just going to search RGB and use my little RGB split preset. The guy, again, you can just rewind the video if you want the info on how to do that. So now that I have my RGB split, I'm going to select, right click, nest, hold down alt and click drag up. And then I'm going to apply a invert. And you guys can do this method of nesting and then alt dragging up, changing the, changing the opacity, adding effects with a bunch of different things. It doesn't just have to be an invert. I just want to show you guys a lot of different possibilities for creating different looks. So this one I think is pretty interesting. You put it on luminance hard light for this shot and you have this very red and blue type of look. And again, as the lighting changes, you'll be able to see the full spectrum of what you can really do with this. A bunch of different looks, extremely colorful. Another thing I wanna mention, if you're in your color workspace, my workspaces are hidden right now. So I'll go to window workspace. I'll just reset this real fast and you'll see in the top. So make sure you're in your color workspace here. Open up your Lumetri color panel and you can mix in your color correcting and your color grading with this crazy look that we're already establishing. So we can add contrast to get that there. You can bump up your highlights, make your character really stand out from the crowd, have this sort of thermal vision going on. I don't want a huge change with the color. I know in that Smoke Perk music video, it was more of like a slight touch to how everything was. What I recommend you do is for your blending mode, I recommend you stay around hard light and soft light because those ones tend to blend the best. There's one little experimental look I made where everyone, all of the people were bright blue and the environment was red. Um, so there's a little example. I just put that on YIQ, put the blend mode on lighten. You can also use this blend with original feature under your invert just to control how much of this is affecting it. And again, this is lighten YIQ. I think this is a pretty cool um, look with this specific clip kind of makes it look video game like now the last thing I want to mention to you is if you want to add some film like texture I know that in the smoke part video you'll see there's this film like texture over everything and it adds a lot of grit to the scene so if you want to do something like that there's two ways you can go about it the first way is you guys can go on the internet search for film overlay or you can go to my website there's a free film overlay pack I have a free film and VHS overlay pack that you guys can pick up to get a good start either free overlay you overlay it on top, you change the blending mode, or if you guys have this universe VHS preset here, apply that onto your clip, and I'll go to the presets of this. I'll change it from the frame style four by three to original, and you'll see it adds a lot of texture into everything. So you can experiment with the placement of this. If you place it on the actual inverted clip after you've done everything, you'll notice that the texture is only really affecting the invert. And that in of itself can do a lot of different things for you. So you'll see I'll place it underneath. But if I take this universe VHS effect and place it above the invert, you're going to see you're going to get a completely different thing. You're going to get more of the invert. Just to show you the full scale of what you can do, say you take the VHS off of the top clip. So I'm going to control C to copy it, hide it, and then I'm going to paste it on the bottom clip. And you'll see there's just a bunch of different combinations of things that you ultimately can do. You can place the overlay here instead of over at the top. So now it's affecting only the bottom. Some cool little effects just by mixing and matching what you're doing. If you guys are using some sort of overlay clip like this, for example, so here is my overlay clip. We'll scale it to frame size. I'm going to go ahead and change the blending mode of this clip and you can experiment with what you really want to accomplish here. Linear dodge add, soft light, overlay. There's a bunch of different things you can really pull off just by doing different blending modes and using some of the built-in effects which are already available within Adobe Premiere and After Effects because everything that you're doing and seeing here, you can also do within After Effects. There's a lot of built-in presets for this Universe VHS. There's tons of different film overlays out there. So if you switch it up and try different things, you're going to get different results. You've got Lost Color. We'll put that in original. I think this is pretty cool where you kind of have the streaked lines going throughout. So I'm going to change the blending mode just to tone it down and again show you an example of it. It's not so oversaturated in changing things, just so you can see some of the cool things you can do with this. And that's about it, guys. I do want to keep going down the rabbit hole and progressing and showing you guys new things that I learned in terms of 3D, in terms of animation, and all those cool new things that are coming out. But at the same time, some of the things that don't take up so much time, things that aren't that advanced are the things that you may be using a lot of the time. So it's good to be able to have a wide range of tools, not get stale using the same basic built-in effects or presets. I want to show you ways where you can mix things up, combine, and that's how you can create all new things all new different looks. So hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.